everyone, I'm Marissa Roberto, and this is another episode of Bar Downloadable. Last week, we dove into the lack of players given high 90 ratings in NHL. So we truly haven't seen a dominant player in Chow for the last several years. But that spawns the question, who is the best video game athlete in a hockey game? We've got some picks for you, but let us know yours in the comments. For the first couple, let's go back to NHL 94. We have a very strong contender in Jeremy Roenick. He could seemingly score in any way possible when he had the puck on his stick. It seemed basically impossible to get the puck away from him. A devastating combo to say the least. In video game terms, we call that a buff. JR received the ultimate buff in 94. One year earlier was Cliff Roening running the show in NHL 93. Pretty hard to compete with somebody who has 100 speed and 100 agility. His abilities were even more egregious because he didn't have the name value to back it up, like Roenick or Lemieux. And for some goalie options, Dominic Hasek in 2K4 and Patrick Waugh in NHL 97 seemed to stop everything that came at them. I mean, they're kind of like that in real life, though. These players all go back a few years, so let us know if you think anyone from modern NHL games could compete with them. Huge news for 2K, and we are not talking about NBA. Tiger Woods has signed a long-term agreement with Take-Two Interactive, and that means Tiger will be the face of PGA Tour 2K. This is a big sign of hope that golf games can get back to what they once were, although we do have Mario Golf coming out soon, so. The Tiger PGA Tour was the pinnacle of golf video games, and the genre hasn't been the same ever since Tiger and EA Sports parted ways in 2013. EA eventually left the world of golf, and 2K has since stepped in with a couple of additions of their own, including PGA Tour 2K21. Tiger Woods is obviously one of the goats of golf, but he's also a video game icon. In every version of Tiger Woods PGA Tour, Tiger was impossible to beat, especially when he was in Sunday Tiger mode. He's right up there with Michael Vick and Bo Jackson when it comes to best video game athletes of all time. No lead was ever safe with Sunday Tiger. It's so great to see Tiger back in the video game scene, and he also posted recently to social media with an update on his recovery. All the best, Tiger. The line between sports and esports continues to blur as professional athletes keep pouring money in. Kevin Durant is the latest to get involved and is looking to help esports grow in New York. Kevin Durant invested in an esports org called Anbox. So the same people who own the Mets own Anbox. And Anbox has teams in the esports world that are involved in the Call of Duty League and the Overwatch League, as well as the Anbox Valorant team, which is another scene you should be paying attention to. It's new and popping. Durant is no stranger to video games. He's been playing 2K for many years and has also dabbled in his fair share of COD. When Durant was in Golden State, he was introduced to the Warriors League of Legends team. This trend of seeing athletes dip their toe in the esports world is becoming more and more common. Rick Fox seemingly got things started, and since then, we've seen big names like Steph Curry, Alex Rodriguez, Shaq, Odell Beckham Jr., and many more get into the game. And if you somehow missed it, Mitch Marner and Zach Hyman are also players in the esports game. 24-hour streams have become somewhat commonplace on Twitch, or 36-hour streams, just ask Corwin. For some reason, people love watching streamers not get any sleep. Well, Ludwig is putting the 24-hour stream to complete shame. Ludwig started a subathon on Sunday. His stream gets longer for every subscription he receives. He might have expected a longer than average stream, but probably nothing like this. After a day of streaming, Ludwig went to bed live on stream, and when he woke up, he realized that he received enough subscriptions to boost his time remaining to 28 hours. After a couple days of playing games and watching movies, followed up by a couple more sleeps on stream, the time remaining went down to 32 hours. Yeah, it went up. This marathon of a stream has no end in sight. It's since gone up to 60 hours. He now has over 75,000 subscribers and has trended number one on Twitter. It's a wild scene. The stream might go on for weeks, possibly months, and we're not sure what to say. Congrats, Ludwig. Sorry, Ludwig. Ludwig, why did you do this? Now so many other people are going to do this and just live their life online and never have a life outside of it. He's smart. He's, he's a smart cookie. This is the closest thing to a real life Truman Show we could ever witness. One of the coolest things about the NBA 2K League is the draft that happens every year for prospects. This year, there were 265 players eligible to be drafted and it was the most diverse pool of prospects yet. There was a wide array of international representation and also a record 10 women who earned eligibility. Lakers Gaming had the first overall pick and they selected Crazy. Later in the draft, DJ Lay and Zaya became the second and third women to be drafted in league history. Congratulations to everyone drafted. Prior to the draft, league president Brennan Donahue addressed the league's approach to making it more welcoming for women. Coming off last year, um, where we didn't have a woman drafted, we were really disappointed. Um, and so, you know, we uh, we created our Women in Gaming initiative this year, and it uh, was a lot more robust. The majority of it was gameplay, and it was gameplay against each other, but also gameplay against some of the top 2K League players in the world, because we wanted them to be benchmarked against the best in the world. 
just so that they can prove that they should be in the draft pool and in the league. I know lots of esports for you this week, but if you're looking to get into it even deeper, especially the Rainbow Six scene, well, the North American League kicks off March 24th. There's some Canadian beauties competing in that one, so be sure to check it out. That's it for this week. We'll see you in the next episode of Bar Downloadable and in the comments because you know I'll be there.